In these questions, we are finding a fraction of an amount. Question one says find half of 60. So we're going to split 60 up into two equal bits. So if we split it up into two equal parts, how big would each one be? 60 divided by 2 is 30. So two 30s make 60. So half of 60 is 30. For question two, find one third of 60. We're splitting 60 up into three bits now. So if we've got three equal bits, how big is each one to make 60? So 60 divided by three is 20. So one third is 20. Question three, one quarter of 60. So 60 split up into four equal bits. 60 divided by four. To divide by four, we can half and half again. So half of 30 is 50. And question four, we're splitting 60 up into five bits. So 60 divided by five. How many fives make 60? That's 12. Okay, four for you to try. So give them a go. Question one is find half of 20. 20 split into two bits. There would be 10 each. So half, one half is 10. Find one quarter of 20. 20 split into four bits. There would be five each. So each quarter is worth five. Five fours make 20. Question three, find one fifth of 20. So this time we're splitting, splitting into five bits. So 20 divided by five. How many fives make 20? That's four. And question four, one tenth of 20. So 20 split into 10 bits. They would each be worth two. Here we have another set of questions. The first one says find two thirds of 15. So we're splitting 15 into thirds. So we're splitting 15 into three different parts. 15 divided by three is five. So each part is gonna be worth five. And we want two thirds. So we want two of the parts and two fives are 10. For the second question, find three quarters of 40. So we're splitting 40 into four parts. Forty divided by four is 10. So each of the parts is worth 10. Each quarter is worth 10. We want three quarters, so three tens, and that is 30. For question three, we want two fifths of 45. So we're going to split 45 into five parts. 45 divided by five is nine. So each part is worth nine. And we want two of the parts, so two nines. Are 18. For question four, two sevenths of 21. So we're splitting 21 into seven parts. So each part is worth three. We want two of the parts. So two threes are six. Here are four for you to try. So give these ones a go now. For question one, we want four fifths of 20. So we're splitting 20 into five parts. Each one's going to be worth four. And we want four of the parts. So that is 16. Question two, we're splitting 32 into eight parts. So each part is going to be worth four. 32 divided by eight is four. We want three of the parts, so three fours 
are 12. Question 3. We're splitting 60 into 6 parts. So each part is going to be worth 10. We want 5 of them. So that's 50. And question 4. We're splitting 72 into 9 parts. So each one is worth 8. And we want 5 of them. So 5 eighths are 40. And I'll quickly show you how to work these out on a calculator now. So if you wanted to work out 2 thirds of 15 on a calculator, you could type into the calculator 2 thirds times 15. So you replace the word of with a time sign. So 2 thirds of 15 is the same as 2 thirds times 15. So that's 10. If we wanted 5 ninths of 72, we'd type in 5 ninths times 72, and that is 40. Okay, here's a different question. We've got 2 thirds of a number is 24. Find the number. So 2 thirds of a number, so we've got a number split into thirds, so 3 parts. And we're told two of the bits so two of the bits is equal to 24 so we can work out what one of the bits are by halving 24 so half of 24 is 12 so each bit must be worth 12 so what's the number it's three lots of 12 which is 36 Here's another question. 5 6 of a number is 45. So we've got a number split into 6 bits. And we know 5 of them, 5 of the bits make 45. So if 5 bits make 45, each of them must be 45 divided by 5, which is 9. So every bit must be worth 9. So the total number is 6 lots of 9, which is 54. Okay, two of these for you to try, so give them a go. For the first one, we've got 3 quarters is 18. So three quarters of a number is 18. So three of these bits are worth 18. So if we divide by three, 18 over three is six. So each bit must be worth six. And we've got four sixes, which is 24. So the total number must be 24. And for the last one, we've got two fifths of a number is 24. So it's split into five bits. Two of them are worth 24. So 24 divided by two is 12. So each bit is worth 12. So 12 times five is 60. So the total number is 60. And one more example. Frankie has 60 cakes, Frankie sells two-fifths of the cakes, and eats a quarter of the cakes, how many cakes are left? So we need to work out two-fifths of 60. So one-fifth of 60 is 60 divided by 5, which is 12. So one-fifth of 60 is 12. So two-fifths of 60 is two twelves, which is 24. So we've got 24 cakes have been sold. Frankie eats a quarter of the cakes. So 60 divided by 4. So half is 30. Half again 
is 15. So a quarter of the cakes is 15. So how many cakes are left? So 24 and 15 have gone, which is 39 cakes. So 39 cakes have gone. There were 60 to start with. So 60 minus 39, that is 21. So 21 cakes are left. And one of these for you to try, so give it a go. We've got £2,000 a month. Three temps is spent on rent. One fifth on bills. How much is left? So one tenth is going to be 200, 200 pounds. So three temps is going to be 600 pounds. So 600 pounds goes on rent. To find one fifth, we divide by five. So 20 divided by five is four. So 2,000 divided by five must be 400. So we've got 600 on rent, 400 on bills. So how much is that? That's 1,000 pounds. And we started with 2,000. So if we take away 1,000, we've got 1,000 left. Okay, let's finish up with three questions. So give these a go now. Question one, find one quarter of 28. So split 28 into four equal parts. So 28 divided by four is seven. So four sevens make 28. So one quarter is seven. Question two, find four ninths of 36. So to find one ninth of 36, we do 36 divided by nine, which is four. So one ninth of 36 is four. Four ninths is gonna be four times four, which is 16. So each ninth is worth four, and we've got four of them, so four fours is 16. Question three, two-fifths of a number is 18. Find the number. So if we've got a number split into five equal parts, and two of the bits are worth 18. So if we do 18 divided by two, we'll find that each bit is worth nine. So in total, we've got five nines, which is 45.